What's up YouTube, welcome back to Whacked Out Sig. No intro, no bullshit this time. This is straight up the most important video that I've put out to date, okay? So please pay attention. If you are in Ontario, Canada, and you do not know what Bill 45 is, go to Google, educate yourself. Type in Bill 45 Ontario and see what it's about. I'll give you the basic rundown, okay? It's a bill that includes calorie labeling on menus irrelevant, flavored tobacco irrelevant to us, and finally electronic cigarettes very very relevant, okay? Included in these regulations, which are actually more of restrictions, uh, you won't be able to vape in any workplace, in any public enclosed space. What does that include? Vape shops, okay? So I don't know how many of you, I would assume quite a few, if you're in Ontario, because there's a lot of vape shops, you enjoy going into your local vape shop, trying a new flavor that will continue to keep you vaping instead of smoking. If not, you may just go in to hang out and have a vape and chat with friends. That's fine too, but under these regulations, you will not be able to vape in a vape shop. On top of that, if you like going into your local vape shop and learning about the new technologies in vaping that are more efficient, more safe and how to use them you will not be able to do that because everything has to be hidden until you make the purchase and leave the shop okay and yes this does suck for us vapors because as I just mentioned there are many reasons why we need to go into a vape shop but don't just think of yourself don't just think about other vapors think about smokers okay I don't know how many of you have spent time in a vape shop or work in a vape shop yourself and notice how many smokers go into a vape shop that know nothing about vaping. All they know is that they've seen people using them, they hear good things and they see that it's possible to make the switch and get away from tobacco. Okay? Under these regulations, if a smoker goes into a vape shop the only way they can learn about vaping is through conversation, okay? And there's only so much you can learn from talking to someone. It's not until, and I work in a vape shop now, so I, I know this firsthand, until you put a device in someone's hand, let them get a feel for it. Let them try different flavors and see the potential. Are they going to decide to make the switch? Okay, under these regulations, they will have to come in and say, I want an electronic cigarette. And all we can do is put it in a bag and give it to them and they leave. They won't be able to try the difference between a mouth to lung device or a lung hitting device. They won't understand Ohm's law. They won't understand why a low resistance coil might be more powerful than a high resistance coil. They might not understand that maybe they don't like the tobacco flavors that are in cigarettes. Maybe they want to try a fruit flavor to get away from tobacco altogether. And there's so much more that goes into a smoker making the switch into vaping. But just having a conversation with someone and without even being able to show them something, it's almost impossible. So... The government it thinks they can get away with this because they don't know how big the vaping scene in Ontario, in Canada is. They think we're just a little speck on their radar. They don't realize that it's huge. There are tens of thousands of vapors in Canada and mo probably in Ontario too. There is a lot, right? How we are combating this is December 5th. Queen's Park, Toronto, we're rallying, okay? This is not a protest. We're not going there, blowing massive clouds, screaming chants, getting angry at people. This is peaceful. All we want to do is show them that we exist and that all of our lives have changed for the better because there are no restrictions on how much we can learn and try and experience vaping in a vape shop, in public, and spread the word. Okay? That's all we're going to do. So if you are in Ontario December 5th, 
please come down to Queen's Park, play your part, and just show people, show the government that you exist and vaping has changed your life. And if they put in these restrictions, millions of people's lives will potentially end prematurely because of this one bill, right? That's to put it pretty simply. It's at 1.15 is when it's starting. So if you work on a Saturday, I understand, but it's at 1.15. Maybe take a lunch break, head down, tell your boss, hey, there's something going on that's a lot bigger than you and I. It involves millions of lives. And we don't need a group of 10 people. We don't need a group of 50 people. We don't need 500 people rallying. We need thousands. We need the government to know that it's not just a niche group. This is the masses that care about other people's lives, not just ourselves. And they need to understand that. So there's going to be media coverage. There are going to be celebrity endorsements, as far as I know. And every vape shop owner in Ontario will most likely be there. And I think every single vapor in Ontario should be there. So if you can, please come down. This is the most important thing that you can do as a vapor in Canada, in Ontario, right now. And that's, that's about it. I need a vape and I need a drink. One final note, if you are coming down to Queen's Park, please don't bring your drippers. Please don't bring your sub-ohm tanks, okay? If you can, if you have, bring a clear miser. Bring something very simple, something that's not going to attract too much attention in the eyes of the government that makes us seem like obnoxious, Smokers times 10, if that makes sense, okay? What I'm bringing, I'm bringing a cigalike. Something that looks, like an that looks like a cigarette, okay? But it's not. It's an electronic cigarette. It's larger, it's silver, it has a light on the end. That's what I'm bringing. If that's a bad idea, I don't know if that's a bad idea because I know a lot of people don't like the whole idea of cigarette, uh, cigalikes and promoting that whole thing, but... That's my plan as of now. I would really love to bring this brand new dripper that I brought, but I'm not going to. It's an hour or two. I can hold off, and I think you can too. So please, be responsible, be respectful, and please help everyone in Canada. Everyone that smokes, anyway. And actually, not just everyone that smokes, because the less smokers we have, the less secondhand smoke that's going around. Right, so it's, it's not just smokers, it's everyone. Everyone is affected by this. Please play your part. That was very tough to say. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again December 5th.